to all ex-Palmarians. We have been spending our time reading all of the documentation we have received. We now publish samples of the rhetoric Alonso Coral is using, along with the very recent photograph. This is just a sample, and the documents will be made available in due course. The following are some quotes taken from some of his letters, some of which are only a sentence. But what we think after reading them in full, it is a good representation of their content. Alonso seems to be more hardline than previously thought. Excerpts from Alonso Manuel Corral's Apostolic Letters Corral's first letter dated 23rd April 2005. We are disposed to wage war against the enemies of the Church of Christ. The second letter dated 8th May 2005, The Divine Plan, unavoidable for every Palmarian is the heroic surrender to the service of God and His Church, so all your steps follow the way that leads to the Heavenly Fatherland. After referencing the Palmarian Church as the militant church, he goes on to quote Christ Himself on what he calls, lukewarm, Palmarians. As you act lukewarm lay, however, I will spew you out of my mouth, since by you mediocrity and indifference in the exercise of virtue, you are loathsome in my eyes. We as Universal Father, require from all Palmarian faithful that they be models of obedience. Obedience to the Church is the total submission to the Vicar of Christ. The children of the Church should be constantly disposed to defend the Catholic faith and exercise Christian virtue, including heroically and even to martyrdom, if it should come to that. Palmarian faithful should forever be disposed to do whatever God calls from them. Christ said, If any one of those who follow me does not leave his father and his mother, his wife and his children, his brothers and his sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. His fourth letter dated 9th August 2005 to all children of the Palmarian Church, those by their simple spirit and humble heart continue on in the ranks of Christ's glorious army as members of the Church militant. It is necessary for Christ's flock to become more detached from worldly things, more isolated from the reigning universal corruption, and become more holy each day. His fifth letter dated 11th September 2005 By virtue of temporal power, as supreme head of the universe, the Pope possesses supreme authority over all humans, that is, over the members of the true Church and over those outside her, without any exception, and possesses full power of dominion over all things, there is no excuse whatsoever for rejecting the authority of the Pope and deny him due submission and obedience. This must be absolute and unconditional, that is with full acceptance of his infallible teachings, even to martyrdom if need be. The word of the Pope is the self-same voice of God. The sixth letter, dated 20th November 2005, Do not forget that the non-Palmarian family you are linked to by blood relationship is often the greatest enemy. Look, dearest children, incurring excommunication reserved to the Pope or to the confessor is a most grievous sin. Therefore you must be prepared to lose everything you possess, including life, rather than commit the sin. The seventh letter dated 2nd February 2006. We as Universal Shepherd of the Church send to all children submissive to our patronship a message of peace at the same time as we make them a proclamation of war. Here then is why Christ, King of Peace, left us with a message of true peace, mysteriously contained in a message of war. Do not think I have come to bring peace on earth. I have not come to bring peace, but warfare. I have come to separate the son from his father, and the daughter from the mother, and the daughter-in-law from the mother-in-law. And those who believe in me will have as their worst enemies members of their own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me, is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me, is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. 
Whoever at the cost of losing his soul keeps his life, will lose eternal life. And whoever loses his life for love of me, shall find it again in heaven. The Church of Christ is militant and the life of a Palmarian on earth is warfare. Ninth letter dated the 30th April 2006. Palmarian faithful, you have not yet been tried as far as the shedding of your own blood. The martyrs left us bloody testimony of their faith, giving all for the love of Christ and his church. Times will come in which the trials you are now sustaining will appear quite insignificant. Very hard times are approaching for the Holy Palmarian Church, in which you will find yourselves the object of unimaginable persecutions and sufferings. And they will have to be accepted promptly and generously and unselfishly. And finally in his 20th letter dated the 31st August 2008, the use of weapons in defense of God and his church is a just war. More is to come in future videos. We have only begun. Do not think because we do not post videos we are idle. Our operations have stepped up and our time is being used elsewhere. On the ground operations are underway. You will be kept informed.